had, let me just go to an alert window here. Give time for Chris to start the recording is because we're going to record this for people. Uh, so they'll have an idea of what happened and what uh, you can do about it. So if you come into our search and just type, start typing in stock twits, you're going to see we had these stock twits um, filters and one alert here ratio. Well, what has happened is, guys, is we kind of uh, we've kind of ended our uh, affiliation with Stock Twits, and I'm I'm not going to go into the reasons why, uh, but uh, it did happen, and it happened kind of quick. Okay, so unfortunately, uh, uh, this filter just stopped working yesterday, and we really didn't have time to. Uh, kind of uh, give everybody a heads up and I, we apologize for that. Uh, I would, we would definitely have liked to handle that better, but it just kind of the way it happened. And uh, we are sorry, but I do want to kind of give you an idea what you can do uh, instead of using, because I know some people use this, uh, especially the stock to its relative activity. Okay. It, it shows you a percentage uh of uh, tweets that are coming through stock twits, you know, based on 100% average. So if it's coming through at 500 or 600%, you would know it's doing five times or six times greater the the average amount. Uh, but I do want to show this because if you noticed, and, and Barry's the same way, and I think all the traders here are the same way, we, none of us use this filter, okay, because there is a direct – and I did, and I researched this. I researched this while, while I was uh, – uh, when we first got this filter and I said to myself, I said, gosh, you know, there's just a, such a direct correlation with relative volume and uh, these uh, uh, tweets that are coming through stock tweets. So and I'm going to show you an example here. This is my extreme volume high low pro. And you guys can do this on your own and do your own little research. OK, because the history is still working. OK, you can see stock tweets. Uh, I went back on. uh Let's see, time frame. So I am back on the 25th, okay, to show you that it's still pulling data from history. All right. And if you fast scroll down here, you're going to see, or let me start at the bottom here, okay, you're going to see kind of a direct correlation between the relative volume and the, uh, the uh, stock twits relative activity percentage increase. Uh, and it's pretty, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, Look here, you can see relative volume here doing five times normal, and you can see stock twits on this apron is about doing the same thing. Uh, and I looked through all this, and it's basically the same thing. You're going to see this high relative volume associated with these, uh, and, and it just make it's common sense. It makes it makes sense that people are going to be talking about stocks that are doing big volume and 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 going up and hitting new highs. So that's the relationship, and. It's pretty much spot on, okay? Uh, you can see here as the relative volume goes down, so are the tweets. And th there'll be some obscure companies that you just won't see a whole lot of tweeting about. But uh, nonetheless, uh, this is what I would do, okay? If you were using this uh, stock twits relative activity percentage filter and maybe you had a 500 percent minimum minimum in there, you might just want to go and put uh, replace it with a relative volume of maybe four or five, whatever you want to do. And it's a really good workaround for what you were accustomed to using. And, and like I said, once I kind of did my research on it, I said to myself, I said, well, I've, I've always been a, a volume guy and I'm seeing no benefit, you know, to this. And I'm not, trust me, yeah, if, if you liked it, I, once again, I apologize. And I, and I wish we still had it, but we don't. And, um, I think this is a, a, a really good, um, uh, uh you know, work around for you to use instead of the uh, the stock twits uh, relative activity, because very seldom you're going to see a really high percentage in relative in, in the volume not doing uh, hardly anything. It may happen. If it does, it's probably just rare anomalies. But uh, uh, you're going to see once again a direct correlation. So uh, that's about it, guys. I and, and and like I said, you can still look at history, so you can go back and kind of do your own research. And I think you're going to find out that the relative volume works great, just like the uh, stock twit. So sorry about that. I'm not going to spend any more time on it, but I did want to uh, to share that with you and, and apologize for maybe not handling it uh, as, as well as we could have. But it was a quick kind of on the spot move. Uh, all right, let's move on to the next topic. And.